And now for the closing ceremony, I'm going to hand over to, I think, Whitney and Simon. Thank you very much. Cool. Thank you, Kirk. That was a really great and really inspiring talk. And um, thank you very much for kind of coming to our conference and giving it. Um, kind of hopefully everyone will kind of go away from here and um, well, kind of find the the art and exploration in their kind of in their coding um, and build awesome things, which makes them excited uh, to be coding again. Whitney, are you going to turn on your mic and join me? Okay, one moment. I'll use this moment to share the slides. Hmm. Things will be working now. Yeah. Awesome. Yay. Oh, thanks so much, Derek. Such a great presentation. I really, really enjoyed that keynote. Um, so yeah, thanks from my side. Sorry, take it away, Simon. Oh, awesome. We're not going to keep you too long. Um, we're kind of approaching the end of the conference. Um, it's been at, at least from my side as one of the organizers, uh, a really great two days. I think a lot of things have just been Sort of so much better than I than I feared coming into this. There've been a lot of great conversations, a lot of great interaction, um, which we were kind of worried about. We worried that everyone would feel like they were sitting watching YouTube videos, um, but that kind of hasn't been the case at all. Um, and it's yeah, it's been loving to the well, lovely to see people interacting and discussing and chatting about things. Um, cool. Uh, so uh, on to the closing presentation. Um, we're going to do it by the numbers. So. Um, 195 tickets purchased. Um, that's all of you. Thank you for coming and for attending and making this this conference happen. Uh, we couldn't have done it without you, and indeed without you, wouldn't have had anyone to do it for. Um, of those people who purchased tickets, 173 people made it onto Discord um, uh, and successfully used the, the registration bots, uh, which Adam kind of uh, hacked together. Um, and which also this morning um, grew the ability to announce talks five minutes before they happened uh, with only some minor uh, bugs, which were kind of fun along the way. Um, 140 people was the maximum number of people we had in a single big blue button session. Um, these plots that you can see on the screen, which maybe are a little bit small, um, are the plots from uh, the first session yesterday. Um, the top one is uh, video room one, and the bottom one is video room two. Um, <laughs> you can see the the problems um, at the start of yesterday, uh, which was when we actually hit the maximum of 140 people. Um, a big thank you to, um, again, to Mike and Neil um, for making kind of all of this happen. And we will try and share our experiences somehow um, so that later so that other people in the community can, um, can kind of, I guess, learn from our, our troubles um, and uh, use this kind of thing if they want in the future. Um, and pretty much other than that first session, everything seemed to go uh, kind of re really smoothly um, and worked out really well. And thank you, all of you organizers, speakers, uh, attendees for learning a new platform uh, with us and doing a conference on it. Uh, conference chairs two, uh, that's me and Whitney. Um, thank you, Whitney, for co-chairing um, this with me. Co-chairing is not always the easiest because there's no kind of one person making decisions and everything has to be a discussion. Uh, but thank you, it was re really great. And thank you for bearing sort of some of the, the buck stops here load. Sure. Uh, speakers 20, uh, including our two uh, keynote speakers, Sheena and Kirk, thank you very much. Uh, both of you gave really awesome, really inspiring talks. Um, and including our lightning speakers, 
Lightning Talk speakers. Thank you for kind of coming up with Lightning Talks at the last minute and sharing your fun ideas. Um, and then thank you to um, all of our other speakers. I think the quality of talks at PyCon South Africa this year was, was really high, uh, and I enjoyed them all a lot. Uh, thank you to the organizing team, uh, all seven of you. Um, it was, um, in some ways, a smaller, more focused team this year. Um, yeah, thank you to uh, some people I kind of thanked already. Um, thank you to Adriana for uh, bringing together a lot of the design aspects and um, and uh, um, checking all of the kind of mailers and things when they went out. Uh, thank you to everyone on the organizing team who did talk reviews. Um, thank you to David for uh, getting us sponsors, which was a very challenging task this year. Uh, a lot of people, um, well, a lot of companies have been going through uh, tricky times, and a, a lot of our usual sponsors weren't able to this year. Um, but yeah, um, and I'll thank our, our two sponsors again later. Uh, thank you to David also for organizing our one pub quiz at the last minute. Uh, it was a lot of fun. Um, and um, yeah, and um, we have uh, a prize for the winning team, and we'll get in touch with you afterwards. Um, oh, I see, Whitney, I see you went to replace the Google meeting uh, good with the official team name of the Free Radicals. So, um, <laughs> that was, um, yeah, that was a, yeah. Um, this is the real name. Uh, so, yeah, originally it was the name of the meeting room in which this the winning team, which I was a part of, um, we were uncertain about the name, so but then we found the name. Uh, thanks, Mick, for a great name. Um, for those of you who went at the pub quiz, one of the amusing parts of where suddenly three questions in, we decided we needed Google meeting rooms for the teams to form teams in, and we suddenly went from being individual participants to being in teams. Um, it, it was a great idea, but it meant that all teams were originally known just by their Google meeting link. Uh, but congratulations again to the free radicals on taking it by by a whisker. Was it more of a nose? Not I sure. have no idea. <laughs> I found out that I that we won when I was looking at these slides. So, always uh, <laughs> <laughs> news to me. Um, and then uh, thank you to Whitney for organizing our two music events. Um, I listened into A11 Radio last night, and we'll say more about. Um, Pietro Battiste's um, performance that is happening a little bit later. Cool. Um, a big thank you to our uh, to our two sponsors, um, Hexagon, um, our gold sponsor, and thank you, David, for giving a great talk. Um, and thank you, big thank you again to Take Lot and Superbulous for being our silver sponsor. Um, and uh, if you haven't yet, please go to our sponsors channel and uh, put nice emojis under the sponsor logos. Cool. Uh, we had uh, one Regbot uh, who did Sterling service, and other than kind of briefly going rogue this morning, um, performed flawlessly throughout the throughout the conference, and kind of checked everyone's tickets. And as, as someone said, it would be really amazing to have something like RegBot for real conferences because it took away um, all of the frantic running around um, by the organ. Well, maybe not all of it, but a large chunk of the frantic running around that organizers normally do it the, on the first day of the conference, trying to kind of get everyone to check everyone's tickets and give everyone their name badges. Cool. Um, this is um, the the end of the conference, um, except um, there are some things still happening. So there are sprints. Uh, happening tomorrow. Um, you can join in Discord. We'll open up Discord to to the world at large, at least the sprint channels for the sprints. And um, so far, there are two sprints which are kind of have officially been announced. Um, uh, some people will be working on WAFA. WAFA is the um, the conference website tool used by PyCon South Africa and by DevConf. Um, and there's been some expression of interest from other conference conferences. Um, it's kind of becomes traditional for some people from PyCon, from PyCon to spend some time improving it immediately after the conference when we know all of the things that, went, <laughs> that we would have liked to have had done better. Um, if anyone is interested, I'm going to be running a sprint on HPy, which is a project to improve Python's C API. Uh, 
get rid of the old warts that are blocking kind of uh, making Python better. Um, it'll probably be kind of very beginner friendly, just talking about what the project is and maybe working on some, some things together um, but come along. Um, yeah, and then if you if you have something to work on, or even if you just want to work on something and you don't know what it is, um, come along. We'll have an official kickoff at 10 a.m. on Saturday, um, but we'll have the the Discord channels open from from later tonight. Cool, Whitney. Cool. Uh, so this is just a heads up that uh, ACN stands for African Coding Network. So this is. Uh, an amazing network uh, created by Umuzi, and you can check out the details um, at the African Coding Net dot the African Coding dot Network, if I believe that's correct. But anyway, they're having a, a Hacktober Fest uh, as part of the sprints. It starts at 9 a.m., and you get to participate in their amazing open source software called Tilda which is what uh, Sheena was discussing in the opening keynote. So definitely get involved, get to know some of the great people um, that work at Amuzi. So I can highly recommend that. Um, yeah, and we can post Sheena's, the... Sheena's just post posted uh, the links also as well. Sorry. Awesome, cool. And we'll, we'll pin the links in the announcement channel afterwards for those who are looking for it. Can we go to the next slide? I I... All right, so the talk videos are coming soon. You can um, look out on the Twitter for when the videos are ready. Um, we will let you know, or potentially in a follow-up mailer. And yeah, just we'll keep you posted on that one. Uh, gifts, swag bags, we're not so sure just yet, but we, we didn't want to make a rush decision, um, especially for the gifts for speakers and so on. So we are coming up with a plan and stay tuned. So what's next? The conference is pretty much at an end, but you we have got a live music event uh, straight from Brazil. There are two amazing software developers who um, make music with Python uh, and have a band called Petro Baptista. And they, they also do generative art. They make um, all of their um, album covers from uh, generative art and also machine learning and all sorts of strange stuff. So definitely go check out their Bandcamp and check out the PyCon ZA YouTube channel for that live stream happening in 20 minutes. So I hope everybody will hang out on Discord and just relax and chill for the next few minutes and then uh, we can all watch that. And their set's going to be roughly 30 minutes. Um, so yeah, I'm keen to hang out with some of the people, the, the, the PyCons that are stalwarts on Discord and uh, enjoy that for a bit. Uh, we created a channel called Sign the Guestbook. So please sign the guestbook. Tell us what you thought about the conference. Anything that you um, would like to add, any details for, about the RegBot. There's lots of things that are going to happen and all of your information um, will sort of get fed in for the next year and figure out how we could do better. Something I really enjoyed about this conference was that um, because it's international, we could have guests like um, Kirk Kaiser and Pietro Baptista and so on. And yeah, I also just wanted to say thanks to everybody that's new to PyCon ZA and all of the people that are new to coding and uh, just sort of coming into this world and that you get got to meet the PyCon ZA community. It's one of the most wholesome and amazing inclusive communities I've ever sort of come across. Um, and that's why I enjoy being a, a committee member for PyCon ZA. So yeah. Um, and I think that was more on the thank you. So thank you, everybody, for all the time that you've poured into this. Thank you for attending. Thank you for, for being a part of an amazing community. It makes it so much more inclusive and welcoming for people who are new to software development and people who are still in software development and uh, yeah, need, um, need a friendly space. So thanks for all the speakers and everybody who's put an enormous amount of time into this. And um, yeah, thanks to the committee for that as well. And, Thank you, everyone. Uh, yeah, I think that's that's that. I hope to see everyone on Discord. Thanks for an amazing PyCon today, and watch the live stream. Hang out on the jet, on the rooms in Discord and sign the guestbook.
Good. Thank you, everyone. That's a wrap. Check um, out we'll... announcements for the links. And yeah, see you on Discord. Woo! <laughs> oh, also, there's now there's now a cat channel, Post Joke Pets. It's 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 some uh, PyCon ZA dash cats, but it's inclusive of rabbits and uh, whatever else anybody else wants to post. It's basically a pets channel. Um, okay. All right. Peace. Bye, everyone. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs>